Welcome back to another episode of Lake. My name is Pixelated Twix, and this is the second episode of our One and Done series. And we are on Wednesday. The last time we left off, we were dropping off the van, or what was this called? I can't remember what that young lady said this was called. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my dog playing with the ball. I might have to take the ball from her. <laughs> but okay, so. Uh, we have some more packages to deliver, so let's get into the truck. Good I'm morning, oh. Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a P.O. positive or pet peeve, followed by the weather. P.O. positive or pet peeve? Okay. Dale, what's it going to be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Okay. What is everyone's, uh, like, obsession with blueberry pie in this town? Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? I have no idea. I am just driving. Ooh. Oh, I remember this place. Can I get out? Let's get out and see what's up. I'm so nosy. What does it say? P O M D C. Can we go in? We can't go in. Ah, that's too bad. Hmm. That's that. That makes me sad. That does. That makes me sad. All right, let's back it on up. Can we? Can we back down all the way? Okay, okay, we're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's probably the wrong way to go, obviously. So let's make a little, let's make a right. Wait, yeah, let's make a right. This should be the first stop. And I better look at the map. So I'm right here. So let's make a, I think it's a right. It looks like it's a right. I still can't get over this view. Any cars coming? No. Oh yeah. My bad. So peaceful. I could probably do this for a living if I wasn't doing what I was doing now. I, I could probably a mail carrier. So I'm back at this. I feel like I feel like this is gonna be. I'm hoping this picks up soon. I really am hoping that this picks up soon. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and deliver the mail. And hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Oh, Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Okay, so that's where I live for now. So this is her street. Okay. So what I was gonna say is, I'm gonna go ahead and deliver these packages. Should anything interesting come up, um, I will cut back in because right now this feels a little slow. So I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, I'm cutting back in only because we're at the cat lady's house again today. And look, she's meeting us at the mailbox, so this could be good. <laughs> Meryl, dear, so glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Oh. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. Uh, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. He's almost catatonic. Huh? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet. Are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Uh. Okay. Let's do it. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. 
Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her fan now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Okay, if I was the only one that caught that, she called me Meryl, or her, Meryl at first, so I don't know if that was a mistake in the um, script or if that was on purpose, but she did get her name right the second time. So, okay, so let's <laughs> deliver the cat. I have no idea where we're supposed to put the cat. Or take the cat. I was totally not paying attention. Okay, so let's see if we can get to where the cat needs to go. Um, let's see. I don't remember what she said. <laughs> um, oh, right there. Right there, right there, right here. So let's place a waypoint. And let's make a beeline for... Oh! Oops. Sorry! You know what? I'm gonna off-road it. Head back. Oh! Wow! How rude! I'm passing you. <laughs> totally driving illegally, but that's okay. Um, it's a small town. No one, No one's gonna care. Such a pre Ooh, look at that view. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sit there. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up. Oh, what is that over there? I didn't see that before. I wonder if these are spots that we can visit. Look at that. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Ooh. Can I get out and look a look? Let's, you know what, let me back up and see if I can make a, I just want to see, let's get the cat to the, oh wait, this is it, this is the cat's destination, sweet, so we can go this way, ooh, so cool, okay, let's get out, oh, the cat, almost forgot, oh wait, the cat's up here, all of a sudden, uh, do we just, do we have to go this way and get the cat out? No. My bad. My bad. Exit out. So I have to go in the back to get the cat. I guess. Um, yeah. Get the kitty. It's kind of odd since the cat was in the front seat, but you know what? I'm nitpicking. But sometimes it's the details, guys. Sometimes it's the details. Just walk a little bit faster, Meredith. Just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Um, I didn't have any other packages to deliver here, right? I don't think so. Oh, look at that view. Look at, ooh. So we just talked to this guy here. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but. What? Oh. I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. Yeah. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Oh, I'm hmm, getting... He's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Okay, sounds good. Uh, maybe we should ask how, how he's doing. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Hi, Mortimer. Okay. So that was um, interesting. For a small town, people are... Well, 
I don't, they're not overly friendly, but I, that's just, I guess, typical thinking of a small town. Um, considering I do live in a small town and people are <laughs> always that friendly. Uh, so yeah, people are just people. People be peopling. Large town, small town. Okay. So I'm going to once again cut out and I will return if something interesting should happen. I'm not going to let you guys watch me back out of this driveway. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so I have a dilemma here. I'm supposed to deliver a package to 404 Pine Street, and... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, let's put this back in. And so here's the three packages that I have. Um, so... Hmm. Let me just look at the map really quick. So I'm right here. This is 351 Main. This is 104 Third, 42 Pine. Yeah, I don't see any other road. Let me just tab here. That's it. So already I'm delivering this package to the wrong house. So I just thought I'd come back in because I thought this was interesting. Wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind, you guys. I was making drama where there was none. That shows you <laughs> a lot about me. Or does it? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it, I thought there was something there. I was like, oh, you know, this is going to be interesting because I'm delivering the package to the wrong house. And it wasn't. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. <laughs> yep, Cute. we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. <laughs> sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What, for real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Not with Wait the helmet. Minute. Not with the get up. Maybe not. Okay. Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Um, sorry I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. Clearly, but it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. Uh, You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Oh, that's right. This would have been, been like around the time. Okay, yeah. That would have been a year prior to this happening. Okay. Um. You married Quarterberry and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. Yeah, that probably wasn't the right time. <laughs> time flies. Right response. So I heard you were back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Mm. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Oh. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up. You'll never guess what I just found. Hmm. 
You can say that again. Okay, things just got really interesting all of a sudden. And the the whole conversation, the dynamic between Kay and Meredith uh, seems very tense, kind of awkward. Uh, sounds like there's some uh, a past or maybe some animosity. I don't know. I'd be interested to uh, follow that and see what's going on there. Okay, so we're delivering to this address, and I will be back. Okay, we have another package to deliver to Main Street. Um, oh, yeah. That's lighter than I thought. Hmm. Well, it's a small box. So, ooh, the flick, the flick shack. Oh, you guys, I miss the video store. Okay. Um, oh, this has records, too. Gotcha. Let's see if we have another interesting conversation. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Uh, I can say the same thing about you. Okay, that's... Is that a compliment? <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you, then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Um, well, I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Okay. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Okay, uh... So, how's business? It's... Uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Mm -hmm. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. But call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. How would the she know? postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay. All right, so... I just want to go around the store because I saw a lot of Easter eggs, like Back to the Present. Obviously, that's Back to the Future. Uh, we have Scar Tar Starface, which is Scarface. The Brunch Bunch, which is the Breakfast Club. Um, what is that? Looks like Crash Dance, which is Flash Dance. Um, the Stony Thriller photo display. I think that's Creep Show. Meh Man, Meh Man 2, Space Wars, hi, oh my gosh, hi, uh, Voltage, um, Blade Joker, <laughs> Blade Runner, um, hi, Voltage, I remember the name of that movie, but it's like, I can't remember the main movie. So Gremlins, uh, Ghostbusters, obviously the Labyrinth right there. I think there was Peggy Sue. Yes, Peggy Sue, Karate Kid, um, E.T. L.G.M. <laughs> what does that say? I can't see it. Uh, the Terminator. Um, the Good, the Bad, and the Duck Feet. Really? Oh my gosh, so funny. Okay, I honestly like all the little details in the store. I love, love the um, 
These are good too. I, I love the Easter eggs. This is so my childhood. Uh, really, it really is. I'm trying to remember how old I was when some of these movies came out because I was a kid, kid. So, anyways. Um, okay, we've got one more package and two more envelopes to deliver. So, let me do that and I'll deliver the three pieces of mail first and then to deliver the package last. So, I'll come back when I have that done. Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh, let's see. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> um... <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> She's supposed to be on vacation. Truly. All right, so this is how, uh, what, yesterday before I ended... Um, this is how she ends her night. You can stay at home, watch some TV, stay at home, read a book. And because we picked up the movie, we can watch The Postman Always Rings twice. So let's do that. Let's, uh, watch the movie. All right. Well, let's watch this. Oh, it's a VHS. Could it? Yeah. Figured that much. All right. So that's it. So we're going to go ahead and roll into Thursday oh, morning. Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I do hope you enjoyed the second episode of Lake. So far, again, it's kind of slow. So if you're looking for something action-packed, this is not going to be here for you. And it's definitely slower than Stranger, uh, Life is Strange. Um, that kind of, the first one started off really, really fast. At least it picked up pretty quickly. Second one, not so much. Um, but I didn't finish that one. So to compare the, the three, or to compare the two to this one, a completely different uh, feel. Um, this one is way more laid back. And I would assume so because I am... Um, we're in a very small town, and it, that small town's kind of laid back. So the feeling of the game is goes along with what you would, what uh, how, the kind of living that would be in this particular town, if that makes sense. Um, my thoughts on this, I enjoy the game for what it is. Um, like I said, it's very casual, so I could probably sit on the couch, chill, and play this. This would be great on the Switch. Uh, I'm so I'm not sure if that's available on the Switch, but I think this would be a good Switch game because those games tend to be a little less, a um, little more on the casual side. Um, not necessarily the casual gamer, but more on the casual side because I know that people can get a little upset about that when you say that Switch players are casual gamers. But um, yeah, so far really enjoying it. Really love the art style. The the controls are very user friendly um, the driving is smooth yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about it I'm kind of interested interested to see what's going on with the story or what the story is between uh, Kay and Meredith so I may play this a little bit more um, on my personal time because I'm really interested in seeing what's going on there and why her job tends to not respect that she's on vacation and she has other work to be done. Um, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my quick review. 
Do you think I do? I think you should purchase this. I don't know if you're into this kind of game, maybe. Um, but I believe this is free to play on Xbox Game Pass. Um, don't quote me on that, but I will make sure I, I find that information out. I would try it there first. See if you like it before purchasing. All right, guys. Talk to you later. I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.